Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. You did that to me last time. Come on. So usually I have to throw a couple pieces of bread away. I'm now going to teach your dogs to stay out of the kitchen. So I'm just going to start like this. Out. Stay. What I'm teaching them now is that out means they have to go out of the kitchen and stay out of the kitchen. I'm also giving them another command to mark the fact that they're out there, and that's the stay. The problem with this training is that you can make a chain. The dog gets to realize, oh, if I come in the kitchen and then she tells me to go out, I get a treat. They put two and two together, so then they come into the kitchen, you tell them to go out, give them a treat. So what I want to do is I want them to be out there for a while, and then I will give them a treat. Good. Good. Stay. Now I want you to take food out of the fridge, because this is going to make it harder for them. You are now preparing food, and they have to stay out. Once the food comes, keeping the dogs at bay gets harder. Stay. Up. Out. Stay. Dirty takeover. Stay. Out. Out. Stay. Stay. Eventually, Abby and Harley get the message. Stay. This is what you want at mealtimes. Is he okay there? Yeah, you know what? Sometimes maybe the rules are bent a little bit, but he's lying down in the doorway. The dog's eating habits may be improving, but their choice of drink needs to change too. No more drinking out of oh, toilets. Is that cool? Rick, could you go fill it up, please, with 1.2 gallons of water up to that line? There you go. Encouraged by Rick, both dogs' only source of water was the family's toilet. There you go. Do you want to bring Holly in? What was that? Good boy. No more toilet bowls, Holly. Next, Victoria turns to the most serious issue of all, Harley's presence in the marital bed. She's cutting off access for Harley and giving him a new raised bed to sleep on. Oh. <laughs> Baby rails. I've put these guardrails up because I'm hoping Harley can't jump over them. Okay, Rick, do you want to come out with Harley? Here I come. Whoa. Okay, Rick. Could you go over to the bed that I've set up for Harley over there? Say, bed, give him the treat. Bed, bed. That's it. Good boy. Lots Good of praise. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Rick, will you just come into this bed? Let's just ignore him. Did not suck at him with the dog. Uh -uh. <laughs> Up. Away. Good boy. Just ignore him. He doesn't know what to do with himself. But this is going to be a little strange for him because he can't be with you anymore. Now, if he gets clever and he decides to jump over this part, then we'll just put a rail up here too. So tonight, I want to see what happens. I think Harley's going to wander around a little bit and I'm hoping that he's going to find his place. Before she leaves for the night, Victoria encourages Harley to try out his new bed. Sit. Lie down. Settle. Good boy. I'm hoping, and I'll see in the camera, that he eventually settles down. Good night, Harley. Sleep tight. Thanks. Thank you. Victoria has banned Harley from Rick and Jody's bed. Now it's the morning after. Will Rick and Jody awake to a new day in paradise? Oh, Harley, you stupid dog. Ah, was that door closed? I don't know. I don't know. It smells. <laughs> but somebody, we won't point fingers, broke the cardinal rule. Rick left the door open, so 
Carly left us another present. Nice and in hot. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.